Hello friends, good to see you again through this video. Today I wanted to talk about this topic. The dots will turn into a beautiful drawing. That is the topic that I wanted to share. You know, uh, first of all, I wanted to show you uh, a small diagram, right? Like, you know, it's like a small image. So if I show this and if I ask you, how good is this, right? Like, you know, you will say uh, it is not uh, that good. Like, you know, it has few circles and then it has few lines intersection lines so what is great about this diagram right that is what you will ask but at the same time so if i try to improve that diagram and if i show something like this then you will say okay this looks much better than what you showed what you showed before so i think uh, you are making some progress so this looks much better we'll say but if i show the final drawing like this right so you won't even believe Oh, are you, were you trying to create this one from this kind of a drawing, right? That is what we all think. See, our life is also like this, my dear friends. You know, many times when we go through the stages of life, you know, when we are going through uh, circumstances or situation, when our life uh, we see in our today's perspective, sometimes our life looks like this. You know, there is no bells and whistles. You know, it looks ordinary. Maybe it looks even like very hard for us filled with a lot of challenges and anxieties and uh, unknown future like that. But you know what? The plan of God for your life and my life is like this. The Lord has already decided that this is how he wants to make your life and my life. And that is why he has created you and me in this world with a plan and a purpose. See, the same diagram that I showed you, right, this particular diagram, you know, I can make it into these two beautiful pictures out of that same diagram. But when I was trying to draw that, it, it didn't look possible for me to visualize how this is going to happen, right? Like, you know, I never knew that this is going to be the end product. This is going to be the end result of, you know, that skeleton diagram that I showed you before. So we have to trust that the Lord has a plan and a purpose and he is connecting the dots in our life. You know, every stage of our life is like a dot, right? You know, even the setbacks that we face in our life are also ordained, are all predestined, uh, predestined dots by the Lord so that he knows how to connect them. And eventually when we see the whole perspective, the whole life, when it gets finished, right that is when we will realize how marvelously you know how beautiful that the lord has done in our life so today i wanted to give you this uh, two examples from the bible one is the example of joseph right you know joseph had a vision when he was a little kid you know god gave him a vision saying that he will be lifted above his family like you know he had a vision like you know uh, his grains you know when he gathered the grains right the bundle of his grains you know was in the middle and all the other the family the, the grain bundles of all the other family people they were all like you know bowing towards this one so this is this was the vision that Joseph had and he knew that the Lord is going to lift him that the Lord is going to make him a blessing to his family right but what happened after that things began to you know go down the hill right for him like you know it, it started with enmity with his brothers the brothers became jealous of uh, Joseph because his father was favoring him and then what happened they they tried to kill him and then they sold him into slavery then in slavery he came to Egypt and then there he was at Potiphar's house and uh, there he was accused of wrong uh, he was made a wrong false accusation and then he was put into jail and then finally from jail right like from the prison god took him to the palace so if you see the path joseph traveled you know it was all there were a lot of dots that looked like you know that looked like unreasonable right like you know you know we would wonder why lord has to lead through him through these kind of situation but you know what that is how our life is we will not understand what the lord is doing right now in our life Sometimes it may look very dark. Sometimes it may look there is no way out for us. Sometimes it may look even, you know, a very uncertain future for us. But, you know, we have to trust that the Lord has the best plan, the best interest in his mind for us. And he will definitely fulfill his plans. The only thing you and I, we need to do is we have to obey the Lord. We have to listen to his voice. We have to walk in the direction that he is leading us. And when we follow his voice, when we follow his guidance, and when we walk in the path that he has set for us you know what he can make this 
ordinary diagram become this beautiful diagram you know he can make our life which may look ordinary today into something fruitful that you know the lord wants to show and through our life his glory will be revealed and his name will be magnified you know when uh, joseph was lifted up and he was placed as the prime minister of egypt you know he said this is what he said in uh, in the verse right you know he 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 thanked the lord for giving him two sons the first name was manasse the second one was ephraim you know when he named manasse he said lord you made me to forget all the bad things that happened in my father's house and because of that i am keeping this guy in, uh, my first son as manasse and then the second one ephraim that means he said you know in the land where i was i came as a slave now you you have lifted my head and you have made me as the ruler of this land see that is what that is how god can change our lives my dear friend that is how god will build our life you know don't worry about your current situation don't worry about what is happening right now you know in uh, in in your life he has a plan for everything that happens in your life when you are walking in the plan of god you can be assured that nothing that happen nothing goes wrong in our life everything has been ordained everything has been predestined and you know even something that looks bad god can take it and you know he use it to bring something good out of it in our life the same thing happened to king david also you know when he was a shepherd boy right the prophet samuel anointed him as to be the future king of israel but what happened after that you know david uh, faced so many uh, you know hurdles right like you know he had to run for his life because saul was jealous of him and he threatened to kill david but even though the anointing was there but still david had to endure the hurdles and endure all the difficulty because it was actually the the connection dots it was all planned by the lord to put him you know in the right time in the palace and when david sat in the palace right this is what he says in second samuel chapter 7 verse 18 he says lord who am i that you have brought me and my family this far so david was so overwhelmed with the gratitude and gratefulness to the lord for leading him all the way you know right from the day he was anointed until the day he was you know as he sat in the throne so today the lord is saying to you and me also the same thing are we facing our life with you know uncertainty are we looking staring at uh, something like you know like a dark uh, situation like where my life is headed to you know the lord is promising you and me though your current situation looks like this though it looks you know ordinary the lord says i can make something beautiful don't compare with others don't compare your life with others you know philippians chapter 3 verse uh, 14 Paul says like this I will press towards the goal that is set for me God has a goal for your life and my life dear friends when we keep pressing towards the goal you know what happens the lord who began the good work in us he will complete and he will guide us until the day of christ may the lord bless this word you all have a blessed and a happy day god bless you